Okay, so I'm um, two weeks now post-op from my patellar tendon rupture surgery. Um, I had my appointment on Monday. Uh, we went over kind of what I did and how the surgery, you know, what they did in the surgery, what they repaired. Uh, it said that um, the whenever they really got in there, the actual patellar tendon had came up came completely apart from the bone uh in about three different places so they had to do some stitching they had to do a whole lot of different things so um it's a, i guess it's a little bit more severe as opposed to a regular pretending tear you know repair or whatnot but um as a as of right now or for the past few days i haven't had much pain at all as far as uh, the actual pain from the knee from the surgery from them being all in there uh, which is great. I'm able to do a whole lot more exercises. Uh, we they did replace or they did take off uh, my stitches, which I'll show you guys. Not my stitches, my staples. Uh, they did take those off, um, as well as gave, they gave me a few different exercises that I can be doing now. Uh, I was actually looking to try to speed this process up you know safely but seeing if there's any other exercise i can do so i looked some up on the in, uh, on youtube there's another video that i saw it's pretty in inspirational um it gave a couple more exercises that i could be doing some calf exercises and things like that uh but first and foremost one of the things that i found that was really really helpful for me uh, especially to gain some sort of independence would be these resistance bands uh, the resistance bands, they work tremendously in helping you be able to be self-sufficient and keep your legs straight. Uh, me, I'm bound to this lazy boy, uh, but to be able to get up and be f and, and on your own and be able to, you know, just do some things on your own is really good for your psyche so you don't go too crazy. Uh, basically, you just wrap it around your leg um, and, and just keep your legs straight. It actually helps me do some of my exercises, which I'll show you as well. Um, so here's some of the, here's kind of how everything's set up now. I have, uh, of course, I'm, I'm in the brace. Uh, they have the stitches, or well, they took the staples out, so I just have kind of just the, uh, just some tape over it, just to keep it closed for a few days, up to a week. Uh, they. They really don't want me taking baths yet, aside from wrapping it up with some press and seal type saran wrap. Um, right now, we're still just doing the sponge baths. But um, if you look, uh, pretty much the exercises were to try to just you know flex your muscle, flex this 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 quad muscle here that you kind of have to regain control of. You're gonna flex it and then let it go. We'll flex it. And let it go flex it let it go and one of the other things that I saw on uh, the other video was just a way to speed it up and just to get more reps out of it uh, was to do it at a rapid pace just flex it just keep it like that I just finished doing a little, a little workout a few minutes ago so um, I sit here and I do this I think I did about 600 or 700 reps today um, also, one of the other things is, you know, as you'll see, your calf muscle have lost some uh, some strength as well. So it's, you know, you put your foot, point your foot up towards you and then just push it out. Just do some, you know, pretty much some pull uh, some push ups, which you would do on the um, on the calf on the calf machine. One thing that I have been able to use my resistance band for is to add a little bit more weight. Uh, let's see if I can do it here. Okay, so basically I just have this as a resistance, I pull it back and I'm able to put a little bit more pressure. And I do... I do consistently probably about two to three hundred at a time, and I do. I've done two sets today, two by like two, yeah, right at two sets today. So about six hundred of these I've done with the resistance bands. 
Uh, I also have another weight. This is, of course, the medium. Um, but we also have the, uh, the large, which gives you a little bit tighter grip, a little bit more resistance. Um, other than that, uh, I've been using a walker, trying to use a walker in some of my exercises, um, trying to, you know, just get a, get a better feel, get a better idea and kind of train my calf, my, my calf and my quad muscles on, uh, you know, getting back used to firing when they're supposed to. Other than that, the pain is pretty much gone from the surgery. Now it's just sort of, you know, when I'm work doing my exercises, I can feel my I can feel my knee just kind of saying, okay, I'm getting tired. Uh, you know, you may need to slow down. So I stop for maybe five or you know five minutes to let it rest, and then I'm right back at it. Uh, one thing that I did take from the video that I saw is just it's it's basically the thing that's going to help you get better the fastest is what you do at home. So if you're able to do whatever you're able to do at home, just make sure whatever the doctor gives you to do, just amplify it. Do it way more whenever you get to the house. You're sitting here all day not doing anything anyway. You can do a little, you know, you can do some of the calf exercises and you can just be flexing your, your knee muscles and trying to strengthen them as well while you're sitting here watching TV. Um, believe that should be all that I have. Again, this was two weeks uh, post-surgery. Um, I try to do, you know, again, every week. Uh, next Wednesday um, will be the third week. Uh, hopefully I can try to start walking without any assistance. They have not adjusted my knee brace, so I'm still completely locked, um, locked out. <clears throat> so I can't bend it, but I'm still trying to do as many, um, as many exercises as possible to get this, to get this, get these muscles back working. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just send it at, at the bottom, um, any comments, concerns, anything like that. Um, I'll be able to get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you.